WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, uh, well, uh, cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your Lebanon Aim update. We've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track, they're trading to the upside. All the sectors with inside the S&P 500 are doing the same. The Dow is up 203 points. That's about a half a percent move. Nearly 1% for the S&P or 46 points. A little over 1% for the NASDAQ 100, 210 points there. Nearly 1% for the Russell 19, 135 points. Another 3% move for the semis today. Day. Markets are not going to top without the semis topping. Trannies, they're up 176. You've got gold traded out at uh, 2161. That's up three bucks. Silver's up 20 pennies. She's printed out at 2470. Light to recruit off 62 cents. Natural gas back in nickel and the 30 year treasury is flat at 121.20. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. That's in the upper left-hand side. As soon as Stevie can get to the tab. There we go. Where are we at? We're at a new all-time high today. If price can close above the high from March 4th, uh, that's at 51.57.75. Uh, well, then things are just simply super bullish. Even if we don't close above it, it's still bullish out there. Now, the issue right now with the markets, this is the confusing thing. And that is, that spot volatility is still above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 1387, the spot VIX at 1440. That says any surprises, we will see a snaky swoosh to the downside. But we got to get a surprise first. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ is targeting its all-time high. It's trading, uh, let's see, the low of that is 18,234. We're trading inside that swing point. The swing point is from March the 4th. Odds favor move to that high. That's at the 18,377 level. U.S. dollar index. A close today below the uh, B point, which is the low of February 22nd. We had, I believe, Hector identified this as a possibility yesterday. And right now we're trading below that low. That low, again, is at uh, 103.11. That gives us an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, the initial one-to-one -one price projection would take us down to 102.48. Goldilocks, I believe today will become bar number eight of a TD9 count. We could or should see some type of short-term top between today and next Monday. Silver does not have that same pattern out there. We'll have to take a look at the silver charts. But what we do know is silver's bullish and is targeting its recent high, the one from back on December 22nd. That's up at the 2511 area. Lights were crude, consolidating with inside its daily profile after finding resistance at its descending trend line. Profile support, 7734. Resistance, 7985. Natural gas has formed a new profile. Looks to me like price might want to go target that 180 level. And the 30-year treasury, it's going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count topping pattern today out there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.